Nick here. Um, I'm showing you. It's not really a tutorial on how to make sounds, but I I don't really like doing this. But I figured out how to do it, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I figured it out by myself too, so it took a while. But I'm gonna show you guys how to convert KSD files into Native Instruments massive files, so you can actually use them if you have to use Native Instruments massive files. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. The website I'm at right now is record.org patches plugin massive you can search it all you want and I have a thing here that I downloaded and I'm going to show you guys how to do this it may be really really sloppy I'm sorry just follow the steps okay first if you have a um, WinRAR which is I, I would suggest because you don't really need to buy it it gives you a free version at first but that window just popped up will pop up all the time because you need to buy it to do like more stuff but I only extract so first what you want to do you just see all this, you can click it to see what's in it, and whatever. There's a lot of stuff in this one, but anyway. First you're going to go to extract. Um, you can extract it anywhere you want to, but for right now, because of this, we're going to, because of, I want to do this easier, I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Um, I think the whole file should go to my desktop. I haven't done this before, so I hope it does. I'm going to be so mad if it doesn't. But then you're going to go OK, and all that was just it. You know, that's it. All you do is hit exit, go back to your desktop and it should be right here there it is and you open it and you'll see that they're all data if you guys know what native instruments massive things look like they have a little emblem inside of here and it says native instrument it says nmsv file and it says ksd if you guys can't see that then i'm sorry but what we're going to do is we're going to convert the ksd to a native instruments massive first what you need to do in order to do this you need massive um i'm going to use just this the, the, the thing they give you whenever you download it I'm just gonna open this up I'm not gonna use my software so open this and then go to file go down to KSD batch convert and by the way I don't use sam files that aren't mine like I don't use sounds that are not mine because I feel like that's cheating in music so every sound you hear in my music is mine but I'm just doing this for people who don't know how to do this and don't want to have to spend time making their sounds but you're gonna go down and find that which should be right here and then you're gonna go to this and click OK it's gonna ask you to choose different location for converted files question mark you go to yes to open this back up you click click make new folder first click on desktop go up there and click desktop and then go down and make new folder it'll say new folder uh, go down to rename I'm gonna rename it the same thing basically Amplex one can massive dub pack and then I'm gonna put NMSV. I don't know if that really is how it changes it or converts it, but I think it's just massive doing it. I put that so I know which one's which. Um, and then you go to OK and it converts all of them. And if you looked up here in the corner you saw it just pop up right there. So successfully successfully converted 115 files go to OK you're gonna minimize um, you go to the folder which apparently was not named for some reason and then here's all of them they're all they all change from looking like that with nothing in there to being KSD to turning into come on come on looking like that and turning into native instruments massive files. So in order to test them, I'm going to close out of this. I'm going first I'm actually gonna change the freaking name of this. Aplex Dib. So we do that. That's not what it's called. It's Amplex. I don't care. I'm only gonna pull up my native instruments massive stuff. Um, it should be in here somewhere. It's not it's not good. Let's go to documents. Let's find this crap. Massive, let's go to sounds. Let's take this and drag it. All of this. And it's right here. That's the wrong one. Yes, it is. Get out of here. Take that one. Bring it in here. No. What are you doing? Take 
this, get rid of that. Climb up, do it. Come on. Thank you. Exit. Gonna pull up my massive. Let her. Gonna go open sound and go to how basically how you would infer, invert a sound. Um, go to sounds, go to Aplex dub, and there's all of this. Everything I just, and now you can turn it all into what you want to do. It's not very. This one sure. It sounds like ball sack, but that's okay. Um, let's do this one. See if we can make it sound a little bit. I I don't know. I'm not gonna use probably any of these. Probably just gonna delete this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna delete these. But I don't know. I might have. All right, that's how you do that. Um, I'd recommend not doing it. I'm just letting you know how to do it. So that's how you do that. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, then rewatch the video because I'm not going to make another one because I don't ever do this and never use these. That sounds really bad, but that's okay. Let's do the fourth envelope. Oh, they were smart enough to do that. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. That's how you do that. Um, hope you guys liked this. If not, I'm sorry. I don't care. But <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped at all for anyone who wants to cheat and make, not make their own sound because it's really easy to do it. You're welcome. <laughs>